Hey, hey, everybody, it's Mindy, and I have a craftably tube here in my hand. I found um, tucked away in the back of some other paintings and kind of forgot that it was there, but I want to show it to you um, because it's one that you can get right now at Craftably, and it would fit for a lot of um, events that are going on right now. And it's on sale and discontinued. All right, so a lot of things going on with this. Let me show it to you. I'll show you what it is. As soon as I can get the cap off. There we go. Cap off, cap off. Um, yeah, I've had this for a hot minute, and it did get stuck behind some other things. It came in the tube still, you know. So you know that's been around a little while. All right, let's get into it. I'll show you what we have. Okay, here we go. Out of the package it comes. Now I need to find my little exacto knife to cut this uh, tape off here. Here we go. I don't even think this one has a tool kit with it. I think the tool kit came separately with it, and I've probably, you know, disseminated with the tool kit already, but it's fine. It's fine, right? <laughs> it's all about the painting today, all about the painting. I will link it below. I just checked to make sure it's still available and it is marked down and I wanted to show it to you. Okay, let's show it to you right now. We're not going to waste any time. It is a Cheryl Baker. I'm going to have to like do a little flattening here. It wants to curl and stuff. There's currently a fly. You might see it in the video even. That he's like totally annoying. <laughs> It's getting colder out, um, yeah, like 40s overnight, and he's kind of wanting to come inside where it's nice and cool. All right, so let's show you the details about this. Here's their little booklet, um, all their stuff in there. I have codes and links below if you're interested in that. I just wanted to put this out there so you could see it, see what it looks like, and if you're interested, go get it because you won't be able to get it, you know, in the future. So here is their sticker sheet. It's called the Druid of Hampshire. It's a 20 by 28. Um, there, there were some books I used to read to my kids. And all of her images, um, Cheryl Baker's, remind me of these books. They were called the Redwall series. And they were all about mice and rats and groundhogs that were fighting the evil creatures and trying to survive in their little kingdom. I don't know why that always reminds me of the Redwall series, but it does. So we have individually cut stickers here to put on your containers, and there are 58 colors. This one is a round drill. Here's a little logbook sticker. You can put a start and end date. See that fly? He just won't leave me alone. Might have to stop filming and find my fly swatter. 58 colors. Let's look at how many ABs and such. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ABs and two rhinestones. All right, that's fun. That is totally fun. Um, this one has a lot of color, a lot of color in the background, like purples and things. Let's look at it. Let's look at it, All right? There he is. There he is. Look, he's got his scepter here with like some crystals at the top of it. We got a dragonfly over there. I didn't notice that. There's a dragonfly. Lots of greenery at the bottom. But look at all the pretty purples up here. It's almost like a little trumpet flower up there. A lot of purple in the background, purple flowers. I think that will be really, really pretty, right? I like it a lot. So uh, he's he's powerful. He must be powerful, right? He's got like some scrolls here in his bag. He's on a mission. He's probably ruler of the kingdom or something. I don't know. He's the druid of Hampshire. <laughs> um, we got a legend on both sides and our licensing information at the bottom. I like it. I like it a lot. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool, right? I like it. Okay. That fly has got to go. So this is back in the day when they had their pre-bagged drills, which they no longer have those, but I love the pre-bagged drills. The sticker on the package, little round symbol in the corner to show you um, that it's a round drill diamond painting. All right, let's roll with this. When I find the ABs, 
and the rhinestones. See what colors those are. There's quite a few of them. So let's get into it. Let's just bust into it. I'll show you colors. You zoom you in. Get you up close so you can see the colors. Pink. Oh, really close. Brown. Purple. More pink. A little bit of black. Green. More purple. More green. Tans. Get another. Oh. Stuff's falling out. Greenish yellow. <laughs> Ooh. Between this fly bugging me and my drills falling all over. We're having fun, right? Tan, pink. Look at that blue. That's a pretty blue. A little bit of it. Not much. Bunch of browns. Browns and some green. What else? What else do we have? Oh, that's an AB. Let's leave that one right there. Oh, now the fly is going to sit here on my lazy arm. Okay, you just hang out right there, right by my face. Fine, good. <laughs> oh, goodness, you guys. Some days, some days, life is just fun. Brown. Look at those pretty greens. I love those teal colors. Those are super pretty. Lots of mulberry kind of colors, creams, rusts, more tealish colors. Okay, I think I'm down to the ABs. Oh, I think there's one more regular drill, a little tan one. All right, here's the ABs and the crystals. Let's look at those. Who doesn't love some ABs and crystals, right? Okay, so we have a white AB. Perfect, white AB. It's probably going to be peppered throughout him. We have two purples, a light and a dark purple. We have two greens. I'm going to pull those out. They didn't come in order like that. A light one and a dark one. Greens. Well, that's kind of a green, too. We'll, we'll throw that in there with the greens. And this beautiful, beautiful teal AB. I love that one. Love, love, love that. And here's our rhinestones. I like an icy blue and a cobalt blue. Super pretty. I wonder if the cobalt blue is going to pop up there. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's do rhinestones first. Why not? I'm talking about them. Let's do those first. So it's like a sideways T and an upside down Y. So where are we going to find those? Um, let's see. I, I'm thinking. Let's see. Yep. The T. The T is in the dragonfly and the body right there. That's the cobalt blue. And let's go back up here. Yep. Cool, right there, and all of that headdress florally stuff are rhinestones peppered through there. Perfect. And then the upside down Y is where? Is where? Where, where, where? It's that icy blue. Oh, there's a little bit. There's another dragonfly up there. He gets some of that cobalt blue too. Upside down Y, where are you? The light blue. I'm looking for light blue, light blue, light blue, light blue. Okay, it's in the dragonfly here. It's like, um, well, I saw one. Okay, there's one. <laughs> there's got to be more than that. Okay, there's some in here. Oh, through this background here. All right. Over here in the background, in there, and then here, and through here. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's more up here or not. It just seems to be kind of down in here, that blue. All right, there's our rhinestones. We'll go with that. This beautiful color right here. I love that color. It's an H. So where are we going to find the H? The H. I'm thinking down in here, but no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, right in here. It's this shade right here, like these lines coming up here. Love that. That's pretty. Through here, through here. All right, where else? Um, some in here. And I think that takes care of it. That's pretty. All right, how about purples? I'm going to assume purples might come together. We got 51 and 52. And let's see. It's a slash and a little up arrow kind of thing. So the slash and a little up arrow is what we're looking for. And they're purple. Slash and up arrow. Mm -hmm. 
It's got to be in the top because they're purple. Let me go up to the top. Let me go up to these pretty flowers up here. Let's see. Let's look at a flower. There's the slash. Yep. And here's the up arrow. Okay. So in the flowers, in all those purple flowers is where the purples are going to be. That's perfect. That makes sense. Now, how about greens? Let's look for these two greens here together, 53 and 55. They are the P and the S. Well, let's look at greenery. I'm going to start right here. Yep, P. P is throughout there. Um, where's the S? Where's the S? Don't see the S. Oh, here's some S right here. P and S. Okay, so the S kind of takes on a yellow. See, P and S. It takes on a yellow background. So let's see. Did I miss some up here? I probably did. Yeah, S is through here and through here and P's. Okay, yep. So they're going to be in all of these leaves here, and there's some in these leaves here. Um, and I think that's about it for those. Now, what is this one? This very, very pale pale yellow is a little triangle little triangle where's he gonna go i don't know but he's a whole different color he's almost like a yellow let's see where do we find you we don't <laughs> it's here somewhere okay here it is here it is okay so right in here is a little bit hang on can you see that right in there and then the tops of these leaves we get some of the triangle there, kind of around the leaves. And there's not much. And there's a little bit up around the leaves up there. All right, cool. Last AB we have is white. And it is a circle, just the circle. So here, throughout here, through this background, some here, around the dragonfly. And in throughout his beard and his mustache here, we have some. I feel like there's a drill under there. Is there? Yes, there is. Is that one that went flying, remember? <laughs> Where else? Where else? Where else? Around the crystals. We get some white around the crystals and around these leaves right here. And then there's a bunch in through here. Yeah, I think he's pretty cool. What do you think? I like him. I like him. So remember, Cheryl Baker, they had to discontinue Cheryl Baker from their lineup, um, but they still have some, okay? I don't know how many designs they have in Cheryl Baker's, but they have a few still, and they are marked down. Um, you can go get one for a really good price. There's some more of the whites over here, little patches of them. So check it out. Check it out. They're on sale. They're discontinued. They're really nice. What do you think? I mean, I like it. Let's zoom you out so you can see the whole thing again. What do you think? Go check it out and go try to get yourself something, right? I, you know, I have become more of a Cheryl Baker fan. I will say that. Um, and I think he's just cute. He's just got that little look on his face. He's got his little mustache and he's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. strutting around. I can see him, you know, like I'm in charge. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching everybody. And thank you for um, supporting Craftably. And they still need our support. They're still trying to keep going. They got another order that's in process. Hopefully it gets here. It's taking a little extra time this time for some reason. Um, holidays and things. Those manufacturers over there in China. I don't know. Sometimes. Whew. But it's taking a little extra time. It will be here. Um, and let's just keep supporting them so they can, you know, keep putting out diamond paintings because they do a wonderful job. They've got a great product, a great product. And I want to see more craftable paintings for years and years to come. So continued support is what that takes. Okay. Let's support them, smaller companies. Um, it's a tough world out there, you know. They need our help. So. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will talk to you all really soon. Bye, everybody.